hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how i made these beautiful kintsugi inspired tie-dye hard sugar cookies kintsugi is an old japanese technique of fixing broken pottery with lacquer tinted in gold silver or platinum and ultimately adding more beauty and value to the broken object i am personally very fond of this technique and the deep meanings behind it so today i decided to make some kintsugi inspired cookies if you are excited about this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified when I post a new video every week. Now let's get started. First off, I made a batch of sugar cookies. Feel free to use your favorite sugar cookie recipe and if you have never made them before, I will leave you a few links in the description box of my personal favorite recipe. Now I am just taking a heart shaped cookie cutter and cutting out as many hearts as I can and will then bake them off and leave them to cool down completely. Once the cookies have cooled down, I have prepared some royal icing in stiff consistency and will be adding one drop of Americolor hot pink into the icing. I will then give it all a quick swirl, not mixing the food coloring through but creating swirls of color which will allow me to achieve this tie-dye effect. I will then take one cookie at a time and dunk it in the royal icing on one side, making sure to cover all the surface. I will then let the excess icing fall off and wipe the corner clean with my finger. I will repeat this step with all the remaining cookies. Once all the cookies are iced and have this beautiful pink tie-dye effect, I will leave them to dry overnight. Here you can see the cookies have completely dried. I can easily touch them without damaging the icing, so now it's time to draw the kintsugi lines. To make these lines, I will simply mix some gold luster dust with a few drops of water until I create a paste. Some people also use lemon juice or vegetable oil, I personally prefer water because when you are finished you can leave the bowl aside for a few hours and you'll find that all the remaining water has evaporated and you're left with the gold powder as it is so essentially you can keep using it over and over again. Now using a small paintbrush I will paint on the lines on the cookies in a random matter. I let my hands be completely free for this part, there is no right or wrong way to do this. Each cookie will be different and unique. This technique is really simple and straightforward, but really gives such a beautiful look. You can
can use this design inspiration for any kind of bakes, cakes, cakesicles, macarons, anything at all. It really is such a beautiful, elegant and timeless technique. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and check out this playlist for lots more cookies and cake decorating techniques. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!